In this video, I just want to quickly highlight a new tool that I came across called filechat.io. And essentially what this application does is it allows you to upload a document such as a PDF, let's say for example, a novel. And then what you do is you are able to go into that file and actually communicate with it as though it's a chat bot. Sounds kind of crazy, right? So if we scroll down, we can see what they give you for pricing options. They have a trial where you can ask 20 questions. You can upload three different files, no credit card required, but you're going to have limited features uh, in that trial. Then they have a basic and a premium. So let's just dive right in and take a look at how this works. So you can see that there's a drop zone here where we can go ahead and drop a file in. So I'm going to drop in a file of a book called Refugee by Alan Gratz. Fantastic book. I highly recommend that you read it. I'm going to go ahead and upload and process. This is about a nine meg file. So you can see that it's uploading pretty quickly. And once it uploads, it's going to show up in your list of files that you have available. And you'll see that there's a summary here with a percentage progress bar. This will take a minute or two to actually process the file itself. And then once it processes, we're able to go into the file and start interacting with it. Okay, so we can see that our file has completed the processing and you can see that it's already providing just kind of a basic summary of what this book is about. So what we can then do is click into the actual file itself and you'll see that we have essentially a chatbot type interface here where we can send a message to the book. So I'm going to say, who is the author of this book? And the chatbot will analyze the question you ask and then return back an answer based on what it has learned about the book. So one of the things you can do that I think is really cool is you can actually click on this hamburger icon and it will actually bring you into the actual source of your document where it found this particular answer from. So you can see that it's the about the author page. So then I'll say, who are the main characters in the book? Now, before I send this, Joseph, Isabel, and Mahmoud are the names of the main characters. And I only know this because my wife and I read this with our son over this past summer break. So you'll see it comes back. And the main characters in the book are three young refugees, Joseph, Ruthie, and Isabel. That's not entirely accurate. Uh, let me ask, what other main characters are in this book? Okay, so it's actually not doing a very good job because the main characters of the book are actually Joseph, Isabel, and Mahmoud. Joseph was trying to escape Nazi Germany. Isabel was trying to escape Cuba. And Mahmoud was trying to escape Syria. Let me ask it another question here. Where did Isabel live? I believe it was Havana to be exact. Okay, so Isabel lived in Havana, Cuba. So if we click on the hamburger icon here, it's going to load the source data on the right, which is going to be in this text, text somewhere, I think right here. Now, Isabel plays a trumpet also. What instrument does Isabel play? She plays a trumpet. Now, one of the songs that she wanted to play uh, by the end of the book was the Star Spangled Banner. So let's see if it knows that. What song did she get to play on her trumpet at the end of the book?
the Star Spangled Banner in her salsa style. That is completely correct and accurate. Uh, I'll ask it to what is the overarching message of this novel? Refugee, refugees should be welcomed and given a chance to find a place to call home. Okay. What other important messages are in this novel with regards to humanity? The importance of family, resilience, and hope in the face of adversity. Uh, what are some similar books to this one? This may not come back with something relevant because I don't think it's got text to base the answer on from the book, but I'm curious to see what it says. Grenade by Alan Gratz, Project 1065 by Alan Gratz. So basically all Alan Gratz books, which I bet you if you click here, it's going to actually bring up a page that talks about other books that Alan Gratz has written. Yeah, okay, also by Alan Gratz. So to me, I don't know that I would really use this in an actual context. Like I, I think it's a, for me, it, it seems like a novelty kind of a thing. Like, oh, let's interact with our book as though it's like a chat bot. Um, but as you can see, there are some things that it didn't quite get right. Um, I'm curious to see who are the primary refugee characters in the book. Again, this should be Joseph, Isabel, and Mahmoud. If I can't get this one right, then the test kind of stops for me here. Because it's pretty obvious by reading the text that those are the primary characters. And it didn't get this answer correct last time. Okay, the primary refugee characters in the book are Joseph, Isabel, and Mahmoud. So see now, here's where it seems kind of like novelty to me um, is this is the correct answer. But if we scroll back up to our initial conversation, it told me that the main characters are three young refugees, Joseph, Ruthie, and Isabel. And then when I asked to clarify more, cause I was trying to get the right answer. It told me that Joseph and Ruthie's parents, the Nazi soldiers and the people they meet on their journey. Again, I was really trying to get it to give me Joseph, Isabel, and Mahmoud. Let me see, where did Mahmoud live? If I remember correctly, he lived in Syria and he was trying to escape Syria during the Aleppo crisis. He lived in Aleppo, Syria before becoming a refugee. Do any of the main characters die in this story. Now this may be a spoiler alert, so if it gets the answer correct, I don't want to ruin it for you, so you may want to shut the video off now. 